Hey everybody, this is Ruby, and this is episode 4 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the industrial sawmill. What this video is going to show you how to do is 1. How to build this machine, 2. The resources you're going to need to build this machine, 3. What this machine is used for, 4. How to power this machine, and 5. How to automate this machine. The industrial sawmill is primarily used for getting more wood planks out of wood logs. The only other use that's not a wood related item are the silicon bowels or bowls. I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, you might as well just use a uh, handsaw for that. So the industrial sawmill is a three by three by one world built item with one recipe item. It is composed of eight standard machine casings and then one reinforced machine casing in the middle with the industrial sawmill plopped down in the middle. How you build the industrial sawmill is you're going to take two pumps and now remember this isn't the pump that gets the water out of the out of the ground like this pump you don't want to get the one with the circle on it you're going to get these two pumps and you need three advanced circuits one advanced machine block and then three diamond saw blades and that makes the industrial sawmill to make the standard machine casings you're going to need two sets of these so you're going to need six refined iron two irregular circuits and then one machine block and that makes the standard machine casing and you'll need two sets of these. For the reinforced machine casings, you'll need per recipe six steel, two advanced circuits, and then you either have your choice of an advanced machine block or a steel machine hole. And that makes the reinforced machine casing. To power the industrial sawmill, it needs 128 EU per tick. Any more than that and it will blow up any less than that and it won't do anything. It will just say insufficient energy line and not do anything. Um, I do not believe there is any internal EU storage on this machine. And it's also recommended that you both use glass fiber cable and it has its own dedicated MFE. If you plan on automating this machine, which we'll go over later, um, you're going to need to put the MFE like somewhere down the line. You're not going to be able to put it up against it um, unless you want to sacrifice one of these sides. To pick up the industrial sawmill, you can use the electric wrench and just make sure it's in lossless mode. As we can see there, lossless wrench mode enabled, which you do by holding M and right clicking until it says enabled. And then you just right click the industrial sawmill. It uses a lot of power, but it's worth it. It's only 12,000 you got to recharge. To automate the industrial sawmill, it's, um, it's about the same as the industrial grinder. You're going to need a constant supply of water which you can use by getting a pump and it's not the same pump that you use in the recipe this is the different one that you don't want to use in the recipe and uh, I just stuck mine in a uh, infinite source of water and then you're just gonna uh, have that pump over to the industrial sawmill and you're gonna have to use MJ power to do this and you're ginna hook the water into the little kinda water sign here the blue side for the input, it's going to be at the top of the machine. So where you see the green light, that's where you're going to hook up the input. And that'll go right here where these oak logs are. The output of the industrial sawmill is going to be the side with the saw on it, like this. And it's going to take all three inventory spots within the sawmill. That's going to conclude today's tutorial on the industrial sawmill. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message on YouTube or post it in the comments of this video. I do always read my messages and my comments, so I will get to your question. If you did enjoy this video or if it did help you out, please feel free to leave a rating and subscribe, as I always have new tutorials coming out almost every other day. Thank you.